turn on the power, turn on the electric magnetism. Quite a big arc. Now this device we are testing here, two big electromagnets with two copper tubes in the center through which gas flows very fast, looks pretty much like the active propulsion unit of a standard UFO. You can see a big electromagnet here with the two tubes. The only difference is we have these three balls around the outside which are capacitors. We'll put 240 volts through these electromagnets. Now we'll go to 240 volts DC. Here we have an arc with no magnetism. Let's turn on the magnetism. Here we have an arc with no magnetism. Let's turn on the magnetism. Let's turn on the power. Turn on the power, turn on the electric magnetism. Quite a big arc.
Let's turn on the power. See a nice arc. Now let's turn on the magnetism. Ooh, getting hot. We can understand the UFO physics quite simply, say for this saucer, in terms of a big electromagnet here with two copper tubes inside that shoot out argon gas as it spins and two big capacitors to stabilize it. This was drawn in a crop picture near Barbary Castle in 1992. You can see two big copper tubes in the center, the argon gas spinning, and then in another way it's sort of jaggedly ejecting from the center depending on how it spins. Now there was another saucer which landed in 1967 and the occupant showed a policeman around and explained to him how it worked. Here's a sketch the policeman drew later. You can see a big ring of electromagnets arranged in parallel like cylinders. Each of these is like the little ejecting unit we saw before. So they're all ejecting gas independently of one another. Here's another view of it here. Here's the policeman Herbert Shermer and here's the saucer. This is another image of the same thing drawn in crops, a smiling alien. And you can see all those little units around the outside ejecting gas like this from each individual unit cylinder. And those units are just electromagnets like we're using in our device, arranged in parallel around the outside of the craft. Turn on the power. Turn on the power. Turn on the electric magnetism. Quite a big arc. An AC electromagnet shoots out charged particles from its center just like it moves this conductive aluminium ring. Instead of the ring, we place a tube with ionized gas, conductive gas. It'll shoot it out the same way.
Now in order to keep both AC signals in phase, first we start from an isolation transformer with a 10 amp fuse, take power out of that through two 40 microfarad run capacitors, which give you 80 microfarad capacitance in total. And then we put some of that current into this microwave oven transformer over here, which outputs 2.2 kilovolt. The rest of the current goes straight into this wire coil, which has about a 40 ohm resistance. And the microwave oven transformer has about a 20 ohm resistance, so the signal split. And now there's no plastic tube here. The inner electrode set back to just around the spacing of the electromagnet. Turn on the power. You see an arc. Now let's turn on the magnetism.